Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to if you're new. I'm sure you guys already read the title. I'm going to be following a Kehlani makeup tutorial. She did an everyday skincare routine and guide to a glowing face beauty secrets for Vogue. I have all my products here and yeah, let's get right into the video. All right, Kehlani, what we gonna do? Hi, this is Kehlani and I'm gonna walk you through my everyday skin routine and my very basic everyday glowy face. So the first step, it's a creamy cleanser. Um, I like this a lot because I have really, really dry skin. So I Pausing it there. Um, I already washed my face, I took a shower. I did not use that, I used, what did I use? Cetaphil, so yeah, we're gonna skip that. I use this toner from Belief. So I don't have a toner from Belief. I have a toner from Thayer's, so I'll use that. I got my little cotton pads here. I hear so much bad like reviews and stuff about this now, but like it was the hype a few years ago, and I just got on it, and now nobody likes it anymore. So if y'all know a different toner, toner. If y'all know a different toner, I can use just holla at your girl. All right, what's next? So because I have dry skin, I have to make sure that I continuously, like in between each step, I just keep layering hydration. So my third step is just this like aqua bomb mist from Belief. Just a quick little like spray. So I don't have that problem. My face is actually very oily. I don't have any of the products that she's talking about right now, but I'm gonna just spray my face with what I have. I have Mario. But at school, I don't know how to say that. Skincare, a uh, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. This is another product that I'm hearing a lot of crap about now. This was hype too for a little bit and now no one likes it. So uh, I'm gonna use it. Dr. Dennis Gross, this stuff is great. I use this morning, night, all of it. So I'm gonna... Serum, okay. So, Excuse me. I use this a lot. I don't know what's on that cap and it's kind of gross. It's very sticky. I think maybe it was spilling out a little bit. But I have a 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydration and overnight face oil. I guess I'll use this. I don't want to put my hand on it though. And then I also have this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. It's a radiance drop. You're supposed to shake it. It got like glitter in it or something. I don't know. Which one am I going to use? I didn't want to use this. Ew! She dropped it in her hand, right? Yeah. Ugh! I don't know what that is. I'm gonna need a walk. Ew! This smells bad. Oh my god, does this go bad? I'm never using this again. It's actually gonna go in the trash after this. What's next, Kaylani? I'm gonna lock all that in with an essence. And mine is a snail mucin essence. I know that probably sounds funny. This is like a major key in Korean skincare. I don't know how to pronounce that brand, but I just call it the snail stuff. So snail stuff. I just take a couple drops. I don't have that either. So now I'm gonna use this, the Tarte Rainforest C, whatever the hell, cause it's, that one's a spray bot. I don't know guys, I don't know. She puts it in her hand. No cap though, my face feels so soft now. So my favorite is the Polish Twist Omega Complex Moisturizer, which is a big like barrier. A moisturizer? Because I have problems with my skin barrier. I don't got that. And I take my Bio Essence Vitamin C like rose oil. So I'm gonna take like three little droplets. I think I'm gonna skip to in my moisturizer because I'm. I'm gonna skip to the makeup because I can't keep putting stuff on my face. I don't even own. I don't even own that many products, but we just gonna have to jump. The first thing I'll take is this Honest Beauty, like, Magic Beauty Balm. So I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna put it in my drier areas. So my forehead gets really dry under the makeup, picks up makeup weird, my nose. A primer, okay. So for primer, your girl has, I don't have that product. I forgot what she said it was, but I have the Fenty Beauty primer, the true matte primer. I don't have dry spots like she was saying. I got oily spots, but I'll just put it in the same spots that she did. Okay. So my first step that I'm gonna use is the Pat McGrath foundation. What I love about the Pat McGrath is it's so light. 
Like, it's just not super thick. And I feel like I need, like, sheer stuff because we have to layer on a lot of stuff as we go. Big so facts. I'm going to take my, my MAC Prep and Prime spray and spray it on my beauty blender. So I, I want it to be wet, but I don't want it to be, like, too wet. Oh, we gotta wet our beauty blenders. All right, she wet it with something nice. I wet mine with water, which is also nice. We put foundation. Did she put it on the beauty blender? She puts it on her hand. Okay. Oh, did I say what I was using? I'm using um, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation. Yeah, and it's a pump, which is just like Kehlani used, so basically the same thing, right? Okay, I think I'm done. What's next? And I dropped my lip liner, but it doesn't matter. So I use NARS. I don't know if it's, I think this is correct. NARS concealer? To Where do are you putting my it? contouring or my highlights first. Under her eyes. This I remember being the funniest thing I had to learn because at first I came out looking like a clown. Big fat. Because I just didn't get it. And I think once somebody breaks down the whole, like, you're highlighting the parts of your face that, like, you know, I guess shadows would highlight. You know, you know the whole light thing. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, That's great. Once I got that a little more, it made, it made a little bit of sense. Okay, so I've seen her. She puts it here. Here. Bridge of her nose. I think I saw her put it here, too. So next, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Steak Love Rihanna. We're gonna contour. I've had this since she first dropped her makeup line. Like, it is completely gone. So I'm gonna take a little brush, pick up the product, because otherwise it will not roll on my face. Okay, and then what do you use to blend it out? I don't do my nose because I just don't understand how that works. Girl same. It's very crazy to me. Shout out anyone who can contour their nose because that's a big deal. I cannot. Beauty blender. I think I did it. Now what? I'm going to set with the Laura Mercier setting powder. Ooh. Okay, well, I've got some foundation on there. Girl, same. All right, so I don't have the Laura Marcy, however you say that lady's name, but I have Fenty Beauty. <laughs> Sponsor me, yo. And uh, the banana shade. She's using a brush. I usually don't use a brush, but we're gonna use a brush because she did, you know? <sighs> okay. What's next? I'm gonna focus on my eyebrows, which to me has always been the struggle. First of all, we're in quarantine, so my eyebrows haven't been done in centuries, so I'm- Girl, same. Showing you the struggle eyebrow. So first, I'm gonna take my 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. For brow gel, I have a brow fast sculpt from Maybelline. All right, next. Or eyelashes on your eye. So I'm just gonna do my real lashes, which I've been taking really good care of and using castor oil for. Uh, now she's curling her eyelashes. I never do this. I actually just found this. Like, I don't know what where this even came from. I can't keep doing that, my eyes are watering. What I feel like works for me is layering mascaras. I know I don't know if that sounds funny, but to me they do different things. So the first one is like the Lancome Doll Lashes mascara. Um, I don't use these in any particular order, I guess. I don't have the two mascaras that she's talking about, but I do have Maybelline's Rocket Volume Express and then Maybelline's One by One Volume Express. They both say Express, I'm confused now. I don't really use this one because it clumps up my because it clumps up my lashes. I really like this one. 10 out of 10 would recommend this one, but they don't even really sell it anymore. You have to like go searching for this. I'm going to layer these two on. Ew, they look 
gross. Okay, what's next? So I'm gonna wipe, wipe off. off before it gets too powdery on my face. I heard that, girl. All right, so we wipe off the setting powder. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna do some bottom lash. Bottom mascara. I'm gonna use this one because I really like this one. I prefer this one. Okay. I think I'm gonna do, just give myself a little more color to face. So I use this like YSL like blush, liquid blush thing. I just, I just do this a little bit. I just do this a little bit. I don't have liquid blush. That sounds fire. I'm going to use this Too Faced Natural Face Palette. Hers is kind of really pink. This is too pink. I'm just gonna mix the two like this. That stuff like flies and it gets in your mouth and it tastes so good. I'm so sorry for saying that. Okay, next. I can do my brows. I think we might are going to be at that point. Brow time. So I'm back to my benefit. Brow pencil. I used to have that brow pencil and that brow pencil was my life. But now I'm just using Brow Stylus Definer by L'Oreal. This one's pretty nice too. I just try and get anyone that has a spoolie on the end because that's super convenient. So... Yeah, I'm gonna do my brows now. Okay. I look a little harsh right now, but wait until it all comes together. I feel that, girl. Then she went and cleaned it up with, I'm gonna assume that it's her concealer that she used, so I will do the same. Back with the NARS, a little angled brush, and let's clean these bad boys up. Okay, that took a long time, but I'm done. So, shout out to Percent. Black woman owned, black woman created uh, makeup brand. Oh, that's cute. So this is part of hers called the Crayon Case. And right now we're gonna be using these two colors to kind of create this sunset thing that I'm actually So Okay, I don't have that palette. I feel like I need that palette, but for right now, I'm using Take Me Back to Brazil by BH Cosmetics and it, it's very colorful as well and she pointed out an orange and like a yellow color so I'm gonna just use these two because they're right next to each other. So I'm gonna take the orange. Taking the orange. I'm gonna try not to get all over the rest of my face. She like... Okay. Mm -hmm. What's next? Sorry, look pretty cool. It's like a brown so orange. Why is orange? A slightly smaller brush this from her brain, and I'm gonna go into the yellow. We're gonna go into the I'm yellow. Into my inner eye. I'm okay, and then she kind of just puts it where she didn't put the orange. Definitely looks like a five-year-old did my makeup, but don't judge me. Let's just keep going, okay? Laura Mercier, gold ass, whatever this, addiction, but I called it the gold ass powder just now. But it definitely has a name. One of these, and just, so she's just putting more highlighter on. This one's a powder. Now I'm gonna go back into this Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I'm gonna just put on this because it's kind of gold, I guess. And I'm gonna take a teeny tiny brush. She does the inner corner of her eyes with that same highlight, it looks like, and then she puts it on her brow bone. So I'm gonna do the same. Okay, what's next? What I'm about to show you is the secret to my life. If I could marry oh, I this love contact, secrets. I probably would. So I'm just gonna take this brush, just take a little bit, 
you see the difference? Okay, it looks like she's using a face powder and kind of just going over this little general area. So I will do the same. I don't remember her saying which one she's using, but I'm using Neutrogena Healthy Skin Press Powder. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that all I have left to do is to spray my face. So I'm just gonna set it. Uh, I don't have a setting spray, but my roommate does. Hold on. Okay. Oh, that's a priming spray. Well, what do you do after that? And then we'll take my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I don't have that. My roommate does. Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the one thing that she's used this entire video that I don't have, but I've had in my house. So before I do my lips, I would like to just double check that I have. Ooh, lips next. Clean my nose ring. Ooh, I feel that. Oh, next. A super makeup covered nose ring. So now she's cleaning off her little freckles that she has on her face. But my main one, this isn't a freckle. It's a, what is this? It's like a mole. I have a mole right in between my eyes. So I'm gonna use a Q-tip to clean it off, which I usually do anyway because I don't like covering it up. I love lip. Gloss. Same boo. Go wear without lip gloss. Okay. For in a trillion zillion years. So first, I'm gonna take lip liner. I use various shades of Mac liner. I have a Mac liner. I don't wanna go this. I already did an eye, so I don't wanna go like too intense with the I feel that. So she's using like a light pink lip liner. The only lip liner I have is this like brown liner. It's in the shade Stone. Now what? Ombre. Ombre. And then I just have any type of clear gloss. I really like this rose hip oil clear gloss. It's super hydrating. So, and I can just like the rest of my face, my lips get really dry, so. I don't have a clear gloss. This isn't even my gloss. I'm not sure whose gloss this is, but if you leave it in my purse, it becomes mine. Uh, all I see is it says butter here and then London here. I'm not sure what brand this is, but it's called birthday suit, so. That would be cute if the liner wasn't brown, but we're gonna continue. You can use dollar store lip gloss, you can use beauty supply lip gloss, who cares? You can use your friend's lip gloss. All right, that is my Face for the day. Let's see. Hope you like it. We love it, girl. But yeah, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy. She is so adorable. I can't get over it. All right, guys. Kaylani said we're done. So we're done. This is my attempt at her everyday skincare routine, which I didn't have any of those products. I've really tried, y'all. I really did. And a guide to a glowing face, which. She did a bomb ass job. The only thing that was weird to me is that she put her mascara on first. The lips look sick. It's just the eyeshadow doesn't go with it. It's because, like I said, I use brown. I bet it would look bomb if I had like pink liner or like a like a dark mauvey pink liner like what she used then it probably would have came out better and more like her look. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun recreating her look. If you have any other video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already to see more from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.